Hey guys, how are you all doing? Today I am heading into London for the first time this year with my sister. Say hi. Hello. And we have a very exciting video for you guys. In my opinion, London is one of the best cities in the world. Now I might be a bit biased because I do live in London, well, on the outskirts of London. And one of the best things about London is its street food markets. So I thought in today's video, I'll give you my top five street food markets. So I thought we'd start off with Borough Market. Um, Borough Market is one of the oldest food markets in London. There's been a market around this place for over, well, since the 12th century. Um, Borough Market's about a two minute walk from London Bridge, so it's very easy to get to. There's so many stores here. There's loads of food stores. There's also loads of like grocery stores if that's what you want. And you can also buy all kinds of other stuff. It's essentially a bit of a flea market as well. Um, it's open, it's open seven days a week and it closes at 5 p.m. every day. But on Monday and Tuesday, it has limited traders in. So if you want the best experience, I recommend you go on one of the other days instead. So what did we get? Uh, well, we've got ourselves a little exciting package over here. But before I open and tell you what it is, if you go over here, you can follow my Instagram account where I've just started a new food. Yeah, my sister's a bit of a foodie, so she was like the perfect person to bring along to today's video. And so yeah, go and give her guys a follow and support her as much as you can. But yeah, anyway, back to the food we purchased. Okay, so we went to a Greek place, this Greek store that there was, and we got ourselves a lovely little Mediterranean wrap. Look at that. Oh, oh damn. Looks a lot better than I thought it would. Actually, it, does, it smells really nice as well, actually. So yeah, at the moment, um, at the time of filming, we can't actually eat inside Bower Market. So we'll take this outside and give our expert opinion on how it tastes. Yes. Or at least my sister will. What do you think? That's quite good. What rating would you give it out of five so far? See, I don't know what to compare it to. Just based on your initial thoughts. I'd give it four or three points. In that range. The next place I'm going to is called Berwick Street Market in Soho. Uh, it's a lot smaller than Bar Market. There's only about 20 traders there, whereas Bar Market has over 100. But yeah, if you're in Soho and you're feeling a bit of street food, this is the place to go. So ignore all the construction sounds you can hear in the background. There weren't a lot of options in Berwick Street Market, I guess down to the pandemic. So in the end, we ended up getting a chicken pizza sandwich kind of thing. What do you think of it? It smells interesting. It's the pasta smell test. My, my, my smell sense is not that great. But it smells all right. All right, why don't you have a bite? Spicy. I mean, we did ask for spicy. We did ask for the spicy one, so fair enough. We are Asians um, and all of that. I didn't get all the veg though, because I think that's all water deeper down. But racing out of five. The chicken's very crispy though. Racing that's out of five. I feel like this was slightly better than the one we got first. But so you gave that four, didn't you? So if we move that one down to three point five. Yeah. This one goes to four. So behind me we have Camden Market, which is one of my most favourite marketplaces in London. There's such a variety of food here, and it's such a pretty place as well. Uh, you can grab your food and then go for a walk down Camden Lock, eat your food nearby. And what do you think of Camden? This is the first time you've been here, right? Yeah, it's very... Um, Trendy? It's very interesting. As you can see, there's so much stores on offer in Camden Market, and it's very packed, it's very vibrant, and it's just one of my most favourite places in the city. I've just found a part of Camden Market which I didn't know existed before. It just looks very pretty and very nice and can make a very good Instagram shop. We got some blooming flags from Camden Market. Um, I've had these before so I know they're amazing. I wonder what my sister thinks. Is it hot? Just cool down a bit. 
What do you think? Good? Bad? It's alright. You sound disappointed. It's alright. I think it would be better if it was a bit hotter. Rating out of five? I'd give it a seven. It would be better without the problem. Seven out of five, yeah? Huh? Seven out of five, yeah? Oh, you said out, I thought it was out of ten. I said out of five. So, say 3.5. 3.5. Fair enough. Would you like some? On to street food market number four. Spitterfields Market. Spitterfields Market is a large market in Liverpool Street. Uh, it's one of the oldest markets in London. I think it dates back to the 17th century. And most importantly, it has a covered roof. So when the weather is bad, which in London, let's be real, is most of the time, you're protected from all the elements. It has loads of different parts to it. It has its food part, it has a bit of a flea market, it has like a produce section. So yeah, lots of things to do and buy in the market. So yeah, if you're ever around Liverpool Street, make sure you head down to Spitalfields Market. I couldn't get my sister's rating inside because it was very loud. So I thought we'll go outside and get her rating. What do you think of the food? That one was very good. Um, yeah, it was... I'd give it a 4.5. Yeah, it was good to get something sweet after all the savory food we've had today. Um, I got the Losis Biscoff crepe roll, and what did you get? I got the Oreo Nutella crepe roll. Yeah, my, my Lotus Biscoff was really nice, but there was a surprising... Well, there wasn't much Biscoff in it, whereas her, her Nutella had... Well, she had a lot of Nutella. Yeah, I didn't try your one. So yeah, yeah. but yeah, it was very good. Uh, I think the store was called Crepe Affair and Crepe Roll, so if you're in Spitzfields Market, make sure you go and check it out. So you can't do a video about London street food markets and not talk about Box Park, and that is what's number five on my list today. Uh, so I'm just going to go down to Box, Box Park in Shoreditch, which is about a 10 minute walk from Spitzfields Market. Uh, Box Park has so many things to it, um, it, especially on the weekends, it becomes a bit of a, like a party venue, there's a few bars and yeah, it's got a real vibe and atmosphere to it and yeah so there's a box park in Shoreditch which is quite small but there's bigger box parks in Wembley and Croydon I've been to the one in Croydon before it's amazing never been to the one in Shoreditch before but I've heard good things so let's find out So I don't know how well you guys know Box Park Shoreditch, but there's two floors to it. And the top floor is the main food court area. Um, unfortunately, due to the pandemic and social distancing and all that, um, there was a bit of a queue to get into the top floor and the queue would have taken about over an hour. Uh, both of us couldn't be asked to wait that long. So instead we went to some of the food shops on the bottom floor and we got desserts. Uh, as if we haven't had enough sugar today already. Uh, we went to a store called Humble Dough and we both got a cookie monster, I think it was called. Yeah. Um, which is basically some sort of vegan ice cream and dessert. What do you think of it? Well, I think the cookie was nice. Yeah, I was. I think I was a big fan of like, the ice cream. Yeah, the ice cream itself stuff. was a bit. Because it was like almond and cashew. Yeah, and I don't know if it was because of the vegan element or what, but <laughs> it didn't taste that nice, if I'm brutally honest. Uh, what would be your rating out of five? Probably. 2.53 Fair enough um, Okay, out of everywhere we've been today What is what was your favourite location and why? Um, I have to remember where we went now um, I think Camden Fair enough, and why? Because it just looked nice as yeah, well as like having nice food. Yeah, I agree. I think Camden was very nice. It's, it's very busy as well, and just there's a lot to it. So yeah, my sister's top tip um, is to go to Camden Market. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you follow my sister on her new Instagram page. It's right here. If you need a reminder. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying all my new videos recently. I'm trying to post once a week now, and you know what? I'll see you guys in the next one.